Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Uh, only thing we ask is if you find the content useful or getting value, all that good stuff, all we ask is just take a second to uh, click like, share, subscribe, come aboard, uh, and enjoy this uh, broadcast, right? So that's that. Uh, if I sound a little bit lethargic uh, about about an hour ago hour and a half ago something hit me out of the blue uh, my son's been sick for three days i think he gave it to me so i'm going to try to fight it as much as possible tonight so hopefully i could be a hundred percent for tomorrow so i apologize for the lack of enthusiasm it's just you know when your kids get sick it's just a matter of time so whatever he has he's probably given me and that means my daughter's gonna get sick that probably means my wife is gonna get sick just spare the poodle just spare the poodle so let's talk about it, right? Uh, market, again, very, very strong. There's nothing really uh, earth shattering or breaking here. Uh, the names we talked about yesterday woke up. Uh, market continues to shine. There's a rotation from group to group, uh, from uh, individuals in that group, uh, notably uh, NVIDIA, right? Continues just to go absolutely out of its mind. Uh, this is now officially the first close um above 700 and again it's it's really amazing how it took two and a half months to get to finally get through 500 but from 500 to 700 took about three weeks which is in absolutely incredible and the video is up another probably another five six points after the close because arm right arm holdings uh came out with earnings and they are going absolutely out of their minds up uh 23 percent and as you can imagine, uh, they're taking all the semiconductors with them as well, fueling more fuel to the never-ending uh, semiconductor fire. Uh, also, Disney came out after the close. Great numbers, right? Great numbers uh, for the owners of the Mouse House. Uh, again, just taking everything up uh, with this as well. And that's it. I mean, that's basically it. That's, you know, usually... Uh, you could sit there, you know, in any type of environment trying to play devil's advocate. And there's days that we close at the bottom of the range. Like, for example, yesterday we talked about, well, what happens if a name like Meta? What happens if a name like Amazon loses the bottom of the range? And they never do. That's the whole point. That's what we discussed in last night's video uh, to watch both sides of the channel. And speaking of Amazon and speaking of Meta, they both woke up today, right? They both woke up today and they put their highest close uh, in their whole formation since coming out with their stellar earnings. Uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon uh, finally got above this channel here. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Now the question is going into tomorrow, going into Friday, can it challenge uh, its earnings highs, right? That's the only question. Uh, Meta, we talked about this for a couple of days. It was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. Te Meta actually saved my day today. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but it was just a matter of time, right? Meta was a matter of time. And you can see here, all it needs to do now uh, is take out February 5th highs on Meta. And you know, we, there's a shot. It goes back to the earnings highs uh, as well. Uh, Microsoft continues to, to shine. Uh, this thing is now, you know, one day away from its, you know, highs from January, right? January highs. This thing looks great uh, as well. Uh, AMD starting to wake back up here. Just, you know, maybe just needs one more day uh, to reclaim back the 10-day moving average. It's not there yet, but it's, you know, it's getting very, very close as well. Uh, Apple was kind of odd today. Apple actually gapped up into the 50-day, which we talked about last night, that it needed to reclaim. It gapped right into the 50-day supply and then pretty much faded pretty much the, the rest of the day. It had a little bump here in the close. But the Apple actually does look good. Uh, it, it needs one more day, one or two more days. But if it could finally close above the 50-day moving average, well, Apple's going to join this uh, bull stampede as well. Uh, look at a name like Snow, right? Snow uh, gapped up, going sideways. You know, this is, again, one, you know, one or two days away 
from starting next leg up. That looks great, right? There's a lot of really good looking charts, guys. Even the smaller names, right? Carvana, we talked about last night, didn't get above the Bollinger Band today. Maybe gets there tomorrow. That looks good. High short interest. A name like Sava, right? Sava had a big, big run uh, in December, kind of came back in, went sideways. This is the first close over, over supply. If this thing confirms supply, maybe this thing moves higher. So that looks pretty good as well. So the market is set up. I mean, you know, the market's set up. Semiconductors are set up. Technology set up. You can go through a thousand stocks. You'll probably find, you know, 200 legitimate setups uh, going in for tomorrow. The one stock that kind of, you know, smacked me in the face a little bit. It's very, very rare that I talk about a, this particular stock that smacked me in the face was Tesla. So we talked about last night, we talked about last night that, you know, Tes Tesla saw some out of the money call buying today and the stock gapped up like five bucks today, right? It gapped up like five and I was like, all right, you know, we're above, you know, the five, we're above the 10 day moving average today. So my initial plan was I wanted to buy the dip, right? I wanted to buy that first dip into rising support. So I buy the first dip into rising support and right away within 10 seconds, right away, the stock goes back up a dollar. I was like, all right, this is it, right? So I didn't make any sales. I didn't make any sales, uh, went up a dollar. And as soon as it got, it got to about 189, it got slammed right back down, right? So I gave it a little bit of time. It went against me like 50, 60 cents, came back again, came back again, started running again, got slammed again. So I said, you know what? Let me take some off. So yeah, I took some off up like 60 cents, whatever it was, 50, 60 cents. And the rest I got stopped out. No big deal. So there was a massive seller at 188. I'm talking about massive. If you, uh, and of all you guys who traded Tesla today in the morning, you kind of know this. There was a massive seller today at 188. They finally cleared them out. So when it took out the high of the day at 189, I got long, right? I got long again in that opening range high. And within 10 seconds, they slammed the thing down $2. Down $2. So I wound up losing, you know, $2, uh, two dollars on my second entry after making a cup of coffee my first entry. And then I caught a brain fart. Usually I'm pretty good. I will never catch a brain fart. You know, a couple of times a year, I'll catch a brain fart. So Tesla started rallying a couple of points off the lows. So instead of shorting into 60 minutes supply, I shorted into five minutes supply. I shorted a little too early. If I would have shorted into, into, into the uh, 60 minutes supply, I would have caught a rejection a little bit less than a dollar. But the point is I would have did it right just because it was some reason something, something snapped to me today. I had a brain fart. So I wound up losing another dollar on, on Tesla. So I wound up losing like 250 on, on Tesla. It doesn't seem like a lot. It's not really that much, you know, it's not really crazy. But the point was it was so weird that it, it gapped above the price action. It got slammed down. They cleaned up the initial seller at 188. It took out the opening range highs and then they slammed it right back down again. And I'm sure I'm not the only one uh, who traded Tesla today that has a similar story. So it was very wacky. However, however uh, I am a man of a short memory and maybe that seller got cleaned out today, right? Maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe it did, maybe it didn't, but now there is a channel here. It got rejected pretty much at the same area uh, as it was in the start of February. I'll watch it again tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe they did finally clean up that seller, and maybe the stocks are gold this time around. But uh, you know, again, I don't, you know, I don't look at one, you know, one day of having, you know, having a, a dysfunctional relationship uh, with Tesla. It's like being in marriage. You know, you know, you have one bad day with your spouse doesn't mean you want to kill them. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, but the point is, uh, Tesla's been very, very good to me. Um, I will give it the benefit of the doubt uh, that something was just awfully wrong that they couldn't, uh, that they couldn't, uh, re you know, re um, reshuffle some things and re you know, re re um, re re clean up a seller there. And again, we'll we'll watch it again uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Meta obviously it definitely saved me today. And let's get all let's get all the pivots. So we'll watch again. We'll watch the Tesla today. So uh, Roku, you know, we talked about Roku last night. This one was a little bit too thin for me. Uh, if you did trade it, you know, it ran up about a buck. Nothing really crazy there. Roku, uh, 9476 needs to build. Here was Roku. Again, when the stock is this thin, I don't play around with it. So it went up about, where'd it go? A dollar. Yeah, it went up like about a dollar, dollar and a quarter. Nothing nothing crazy there. Uh, AMD, I was watching to the downside, didn't com confirm. NVIDIA, right? What are you going to say that hasn't been said already? 
For experienced traders, watch this 685, got rejected three times pre-market needs to build. So here was Nvidia. Now let me show you the 60 minute view, kind of what I'm looking at, right? You see this, the top of the channel here, right? It's 684.70, everybody see it? This candle here I'm pointing to? This is a 60 minute view, okay? The top of the channel here is 684.70. So you got 684.70s, 684.70. So basically that's where that comes in. If it starts building 685, it could wake up. So once it got above the 685 level, right? Once it got above the 685 level, well, you kind of know what happens, right? You kind of know what happens next. Uh, NVIDIA right now is trading 706 uh, after hours. Just an unbelievable move. Absolutely unbelievable move. Uh, PLTR. Remember we talked about PLTR last night's video, right? It confirmed today's price action. Uh, 220, uh, 222.20 needs to confirm yesterday's move. PLTR, what a stud. Absolute stud. Here is PLTR. Uh, took out the 2220. That was yesterday's channel and went all the way up to almost 24. Great, great move. Congratulations to all you guys uh, who, go, who, who got it. Uh, 2460s looks like a next soft uh, rejection on PLTR on, on deck. Uh, and here's, you know, here's, you know, CVNA 49 needs to build, never got there. Tesla 190 needs to build, never got there. Uh, and this is the one who definitely saved my day, right? This is the one that definitely saved my day. Before we get to, uh, uh, before we get to Meta, uh, Shopify 8360 needs to build. I think we talked, we discussed Shopify in the weekend update. Uh, Shopify finally got above, uh, got above uh, 8360, went all the way up to 8550. Beautiful move. It looks like it's going to go higher again uh, tomorrow. And Meta saved me. It, it really did save me. Uh, Meta, that first move, I caught about a little less than four points on it, and the rest I got stopped out break even. But I'm watching again for another break even tomorrow. Uh, break even of <laughs> Freudian slip. I hope not. Uh, I'm looking for a re-entry tomorrow. 467.12 needs to build. Uh, Meta went all the way up to 470, uh, 471.50s. Uh, and tomorrow, I want to see if it confirms uh, this today's channel and starts, you know, starts testing uh, its earnings high. So a crazy day. Not really sure what happened today with Tesla, but again, you know, short memory, right? You you do well, short memory. You do you you have a poor performance, short memory. Okay, the past is the past. We don't live there anymore. Tomorrow is the first day of your trading career, and it all matters what you do tomorrow, not what you did today. Learn from it, be better, and the most important part is be sensible. You know, things just do happen uh, in life. That's it, guys. That's it, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go get some rest. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, Arm is going absolutely nuts. Uh, Arm is at 101 right now after hours. Uh, as you can see, it's taking all the semiconductors with it right now. Let's see. Let's see if we have another, you know, crazy, crazy day tomorrow, the way it's playing out. It sure feels that way. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.